Su Chuan obtained a divine level scientific research system, but in order to complete the task assigned by the system, he missed the graduation conclusion. In anger, the mentor dismissed him. After completing the scientific research task assigned by the system, he received this message. At this time, there is an urgent need for money in case of illness and death at home. There's no way, we can only sell technology. An email was directly mailed to the courtyard. Is the sixth generation new aviation engine technology necessary? Thieves are cheap, only 3 billion yuan. One second ago, the researcher thought it was a scammer. After reading the email materials. Researcher. We need 3 billion to 30 billion. Hurry up, assistant, and make money quickly. At the same time, quickly contact this research expert. We will do everything we can to get him to come. We are willing to offer the highest conditions as long as he is willing. After a moment. Researcher. What? He's not coming. He said he hasn't graduated yet, or is he an undergraduate? He needs to take a new exam before coming. Keywords of the novel. Nuclear power has come out, do you think you are an undergraduate? No pop-ups, nuclear power has come out, you're an undergraduate. Download the complete set of TXT, nuclear power has all been released. Do you think you are an undergraduate student? Latest Chapter Reading Chapter 1 Is great, you can't expect to graduate. You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 1 Is great, you can't expect to graduate. Nanjiang, an old apartment. The facilities of the apartment are very rudimentary, and the furniture and furnishings are also extremely simple. At this moment, a young man is pacing back and forth. Should a new type of aircraft engine adopt a hybrid power source? The young man murmured, as if he had thought of something, and hurried to the table. He took out an A3-sized blank paper and started writing. On the spacious desktop, there are many messy papers, all filled with dense drafts or text. As long as you carefully examine these papers, you can see the clues. On these extremely messy manuscripts, there are all design drawings of precision parts, various theoretical speculations, and even data simulations. On the blueprint, not only are there extremely detailed numerical values, but the drawing of the parts is also extremely accurate. Under many printed texts and patterns, there are also many densely packed handwritten data. It seems to be a modification or correction of data. On the corresponding drawings, there are titles for these parts or designs. About the principal design of the sixth generation aviation power engine. Regarding the non traditional pulse power assisted conjecture. The feasibility of turbo pulse combination engines. Design drawings for composite aviation power engines, fourth edition design. Dot. On the ground beside, there are also mountains of books and materials piled up. Based on these, it is not difficult to guess the research direction of this young man. It's about the sixth generation aviation power engine. This is a highly complex and precise machinery, and it serves as the heart of airplanes. The complexity and difficulty involved is by no means a small project. The young man sat at the table when his right hand, which had been constantly writing, suddenly stopped. He looked ahead, his eyes flickering slightly. At this moment, a memory buried deep in the heart emerged again. It has been some time since I came to this world. That's right. His name is Su Chuan, a traveler. Due to an accident in my past life, I traveled to this parallel world. Nowadays, he is just an ordinary graduate student at Nanjiang University. Su Chuan took a slow breath and wrote the last character on the paper in front of him. He took a breath and his expression slightly relaxed. Finally. It's done. All calculations and tests are completely valid. For the current research, Su Chuan has invested a lot of time and effort. Study in the rental house day and night. Today, it can be considered as a complete ending to all of this. On the ground not far away, piles of paper piled up like mountains. 
All of them are drafts about this design. This is just a facade. And this research, from beginning to end, is only him. The amount of work involved can be imagined. At this moment, Su Chuan finally settled down and glanced at time. July 16. His eyelids twitched and his heart was startled. Unconsciously, another month has passed. It's broken. Immediately after, Su Chuan's face changed slightly, as if he remembered something, and he quickly clicked on his phone. Sure enough, a prompt popped up on the phone. You have been removed from the group chat research topic on the impact of air resistance on power. Have you been kicked out of the group yet? Meanwhile, in the chat interface, he saw a message from his mentor. There is a number on the red dot. 32 unread messages in total. Su Chuan, where are the people? Why don't we come up with the conclusion of the project? Phone not connected. What does it mean? Great, don't even think about graduating from graduate school. Dot. Exit the interface and find that there are still more than 10 unanswered calls. Su Chuan's face showed a hint of helplessness. I missed the conclusion of my supervisor's project due to my own research. The latest news was two days ago. Now I see that there is basically no opportunity for remedy. What a house leak. It's like continuous rain at night. Now it's completely finished. He originally thought that this shouldn't be a very important topic. After all, there are about 10 people involved in the research of this topic. A normal topic, how can there be so many people? You need to queue up to serve tea, pour water, and check the water dispenser. No matter how you calculate it, he can at most be considered one of the miscellaneous workers. Leaving him alone should not have much impact on the research progress of the project. What should I do or what should I do? What research should be carried out is still necessary. It doesn't matter if you can't come or not. Su Chuan thought to himself that the research on this topic had little to do with him. I haven't participated in the project since it started. Besides, with so many people, mentors shouldn't have resorted to such a low dot level system of naming names, right? With this mentality, Su Chuan began his research with peace of mind. It doesn't matter if you don't study it, as soon as you study it, you forget the time. I didn't participate until the conclusion of the final research topic. At first, Su Chuan didn't expect things to develop like this. A series of impacts have caused such serious consequences. The mentor of this project is also known for being cautious. It's almost impossible for Su Chuan's graduate student to graduate. This can be considered a complete offense to the mentor. With the personality of this mentor, that's beyond discussion. Sai. Su Chuan sighed, and he did not intentionally choose not to participate in the conclusion of this research project. At that time, there was a breakthrough in research on the sixth generation aviation power engine. In order to focus on completing this research without being disturbed by the outside world, he naturally turned on airplane mode for his phone. The fact proves that his research direction is indeed correct. Unfortunately, I missed the conclusion of the project. Unfortunately, these explanations cannot be listened to by the mentor. At this point, no matter how much he tried to defend himself from his mentor, it was of no use. Ding lingling. The sudden ringing of the phone interrupted Su Chuan's thoughts. He looked at the number on his phone with a hint of surprise in his eyes. This is not a strange number, there are detailed notes on the number. Nanjiang Technology Company, Limited Human Resources Department. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Sorry, you have been fired. You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 2 Sorry, you have been fired. Without any hesitation, Su Chuan immediately answered the phone. A pleasant female voice came from across the phone. Hello, may I ask if this is Mr. Su? Su Chuan nodded. I am. On the other end of the phone, there was still a friendly tone of communication. Hello Mr. Su. 
This is the Human Resources Department of Nanjiang Technology Company, Limited. Our company is very satisfied with your resume and unfortunately lacks a certain position. May I ask when you have time to come for the interview? After hearing these words, Su Chuan remained slightly silent. If things go smoothly, he will be able to graduate this semester. He was also able to attend the interview as planned. But just now, because he missed the conclusion of his supervisor's project, he knew that he would definitely not be able to graduate. At the same time, he no longer meets the requirements for interviewing for a company degree. For this company, Su Chuan is actually quite satisfied in his heart. This is not only the largest technology company in Nanjiang, but also a well-known enterprise in China. He coughed and asked tentatively. This. Time is available, may I ask if it is possible to slightly lower your company's requirements for a degree. In terms of ability, I am fully capable. As the words fell, there was a noticeable change in the voice and attitude on the other end of the phone. Reduced degree requirements. The phone couldn't help but smile. The originally pleasant female voice also added a touch of harshness. I'm sorry, our company doesn't recruit undergraduate students, only graduate students. Really, if you don't have a degree, don't randomly submit resumes, it's a waste of my time. Whispering over there, I hung up the phone directly. The sound of doodle doodle came out. Suchuan couldn't help but rub his head. The number of people looked down on him, and he still couldn't refute it. I couldn't graduate, which resulted in my scheduled interview being ruined. It's not anyone's fault that the plan was disrupted. It's just a small setback. For Su Chuan's heart, it didn't have a significant impact. A car must have a way to the front of the mountain, and a boat must go straight to the bridge. You can look for a job again, it's not a big problem. He just put his phone aside and poured himself a glass of water. At this moment, the ringtone of the phone rang again. Su Chuan looked at the notes on his phone screen and breathed a sigh of relief. It was a call from the mentor's assistant. Coincidentally, taking this opportunity, perhaps we can have a little discussion about graduation. After much thought, Su Chuan answered the phone. Su Chuan, right. Just as the phone was connected, I heard a cold and firm voice from the other side. Finally answered the phone. Su Chuan sneered and said, that. Before he could say anything, he was interrupted by his mentor's assistant. I haven't heard from you for a few days, so I thought you were missing. You should also be aware of the reason for calling this time. Then I won't say anything more. I'm mainly here to inform you. You have been expelled due to repeated absences from regular classes. Without giving Su Chuan any chance to interrupt, the phone was hung up again. He put his phone aside and couldn't help but smile bitterly. That mentor, you must be careful. I really don't give a single chance. Now it's not just a graduation issue, he's also fired by his supervisor. At this time, if you still want to obtain your graduate certificate, you can only reapply for graduate school. Reapplying is not as simple as imagined. The current situation is much more serious than Su Chuan had imagined. The observant mentor also labeled Su Chuan as having a bad plot. With such a reason for dismissal, it didn't save Su Chuan any face. If you are reapplying, who would dare to accept our school's mentor? Who is willing to accept a student who was expelled due to bad circumstances? In this way, it is basically impossible to reapply to this school. The consecutive bad news also made Su Chuan feel a bit helpless. He shook his head and took a sip of the water he had poured earlier. Blessings come in pairs, misfortune never comes alone. However, Su Chuan did not complain much. Su Chuan's heart revealed a hint of complexity. He slowly exhaled a breath. Actually, he didn't mean to miss the conclusion of the project. Isn't applying for graduate school just for a degree? Who doesn't want to graduate? If he has time, of course he also wants to graduate. All of this is clearly for a reason. 
So there is a reason for the diligent research on the sixth generation aviation power engine. Su Chuan's gaze was fixed on the front. A secret hidden in the deepest depths emerged. As a traveler, he naturally awakened his system. In front of him, a system panel that only he could see slowly appeared. Divine Level Scientific Research System Host Su Chuan Current Task Complete the development of the sixth generation aviation power engine within the specified time. Remaining time. One day in eight hours task completion progress. 100%. System rewards are currently being settled, gazing at the system panel, Su Chuan's expression also softened a lot. He missed the conclusion of the project precisely because the tasks released by the system have extremely strict time constraints. If you want to receive rewards, you must complete the task within a limited time. In terms of system rewards and project conclusions, Su Chuan clearly chose the former. Although due to some unexpected circumstances, I was unable to graduate, as far as the outcome is concerned. This is completely acceptable for Su Chuan. At least, Su Chuan completed the task in the last remaining time. Ding! The system reward settlement has been successful. In Su Chuan's ear, mechanical sounds came one after another. Ding! Get a reward for your strong memory and unforgettable memory. Ding. Get a reward of 1% brain domain development. Su Chuan's face showed a faint smile. The system reward can be considered as settlement. For this reward, I didn't even ask for my graduate certificate. He slightly closed his eyes and felt the changes brought about by the system rewards carefully. For research related fields or practitioners, memory is nothing but the most important. The detailed and irregular data and content are often the most difficult things for humans to remember. The ability rewarded by the system is particularly important for Su Chuan. This is truly unforgettable. Not just a glance to get a rough idea. This is only one of the system rewards. Another reward, also greatly improved. Brain Domain Development 1% 1% may seem rare, but for the human brain. This is already a very exaggerated value. You should know that a normal human brain is only 5% open. Even one of the greatest physicists in past life, Einstein's brain only developed about 10%. This time, a direct reward of 1% was given. For anyone, this is definitely a huge improvement. Su Chuan could feel that his mind was exceptionally clear at this moment. His thinking, even his ideas, are exceptionally smooth. This is the benefit of brain development. Even in terms of nerves and reactions, Su Chuan can also have a certain improvement. Su Chuan slowly opened his eyes. Although my graduate certificate is gone, this reward is still completely acceptable. Ding! A new mission is about to start. The sound of the system interrupted Su Chuan's thoughts. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Shock of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Shock of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. In front of him, the system panel also began to change. The originally completed task has also been replaced at this moment. New task released, researching the seventh generation nuclear reactor power engine. Su Chuan's gaze flickered slightly, and preliminary ideas had already emerged in his mind. At this moment, the phone, which had been quiet for a long time, rang again. He looked at the notes on the screen. Dad! Su Chuan's expression immediately softened a lot, and he immediately answered the phone. Hello, Dad. On the phone, Su's father's slightly tired voice came through. Son, I heard that you are about to graduate from graduate school. How are you doing? In these two short sentences, there is full of care. Su Chuan remained silent for a moment, but ultimately chose a white lie. He also doesn't feel homesick and worried about his affairs. He squeezed out a smile and said. It's okay, Dad. 
I'm doing really well here. In two days, I will be preparing for the interview. Upon hearing this, Sue's father also breathed a sigh of relief and kept repeating in his mouth. That's good, that's good. After Su Chuan's side was fine, Su's father seemed to feel much relieved. He sighed and said earnestly. Son, even now, Dad doesn't want to keep it from you anymore. Actually, your mother has been sick for a while now. I'm afraid you're worried, so I haven't told you yet. Su Chuan's eyes showed a hint of surprise. He focuses on scientific research, but actually doesn't pay too much attention to things at home. In addition, parents work outside all year round. When they returned home, they all behaved very normally. He hesitated slightly and asked. What disease? Dad Su sighed and said in a deep voice. It's late-stage uremia. On the phone, both father and son fell silent for a moment. After hearing these words, Su Chuan's heart sank involuntarily. He clearly has an unparalleled understanding of this knowledge. Uremia is the final stage of renal failure, and there is no possibility of renal function recovery. That is to say, this disease cannot be cured. Dad Su sighed and continued. You are also aware of our family's economic conditions. During this period, your mother has been doing blood dialysis support. You are also aware that this illness is not something that happens every day or two. Fortunately, over the years, your mother and I have also accumulated some savings. How many more months can our family last? If it's not particularly serious, I won't talk to you either. The elderly father's words at this moment reveal a hint of helplessness. The once tall figure, I don't know when it will also hunch. His originally stable voice also showed a hint of hoarseness. The best way to treat this disease is to have a kidney transplant. This requires a lot of money. At least, the family's financial situation is currently unsustainable. Su Chuan remained silent again, his heart clear. In the later stage of uremia, hemodialysis is only a temporary replacement for the kidneys. It will not alleviate the symptoms of renal failure. Once renal function is completely lost, the frequency of hemodialysis will also become increasingly frequent. At this point, the best method is kidney transplantation. That means changing the kidney. On the phone, Sue's father seemed to think it was inappropriate to say this and immediately added. Of course, I know you just graduated and don't have much money in your hands. I don't want you to bear all of it, as long as you help your family share a little. It's best to find a good job. The rest, I will find a way. When he said this, the father seemed to have aged a lot. Su Chuan's heart couldn't help but be touched. After being in school for so long, my parents have never mentioned being sick. Obviously, it was because this incident affected his studies. It wasn't until graduation that my father revealed it. Su Chuan's nose was sore and he felt a little moved inside. He nodded heavily, with a slight change in his voice. Don't worry, Dad, leave it to me. I will find a way. Everything will be okay. Upon hearing his son's words, Su's father seemed much more relaxed. Father squeezed out a smile and exchanged a few pleasantries. The phone call ended and the surroundings became quiet. Su Chuan also let out a heavy sigh. He turned his head to look at the sunset in the distance, his eyes firm, and he also made a decision in his heart. At this moment, Su Chuan suddenly felt that his graduate certificate was somewhat insignificant. In the face of family affection, that so dot called graduation certificate is not worth mentioning at all. His relationship with his family is not particularly good. But ultimately, blood is thicker than water. Human beings themselves are highly emotional creatures. Besides, there isn't much time left for Su Chuan. His parents are just ordinary migrant workers. Even if there is savings, how much can there be? My mother's situation is getting worse and she is spending more and more money in the hospital. If you really want to do a kidney transplant, the money required will never be less. 
the human body has rejection of organs. Finding a qualified kidney source is not as simple as imagined. At least prepare over 500,000. If you want a high fit student, you may need more money. Anyway, what Su Chuan needs most at the moment is nothing else. But, money. As long as there is enough money, these so dot called problems are not problems. Su Chuan sat on the sofa, pondering for a moment. Before this, he didn't care about money. But now, his inner thoughts have changed. Make money. No matter what, we all need a sum of money in our hands. Whether it's for personal use or for scientific research work. If there were no funds, all of this would be empty talk. Su Chuan closed his eyes and began to think. How to legally obtain a large amount of money in a short period of time. It is obvious that the slim probability of buying lottery tickets is not in his consideration. The method of obtaining for a long time came to mind in his mind. However, none of them were adopted. Quickly, he opened his eyes. Technology. Nowadays, he can be said to have nothing on him. Only, there is one technology. If this technology can be sold. Su Chuan has confidence in his technology and can definitely sell it for an amazing price. This is currently the simplest and most crude way of making money. As for who to sell to, Su Chuan already had a choice in his heart. Dashia Chinese Academy of Sciences. Because of Dashia's trust, Su Chuan understands very well. The official offer may not be the most. But it can definitely make you feel the most at ease. Su Chuan came to the computer and searched the internet to find the contact information and email of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Since you want to sell technology. Then we must bring out some real things. Su Chuan has briefly organized the design concept and basic operating principle data of aviation power engines. It is not difficult to theoretically derive results from this part. Among all the research materials, the most crucial one is that Su Chuan retained the most core technology. By doing so, one can not only prove the authenticity of their technology, but also gain sufficient say. He didn't hesitate and directly sent the file to the Chinese Academy of Sciences via email. Email sent successfully. On the monitor, a successful feedback message appears. Su Chuan Kai breathed a sigh of relief. Now, just wait quietly for the Chinese Academy of Sciences to proactively contact him. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Immediately, Immediately You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Immediately, Immediately The Chinese Academy of Sciences, as the highest scientific research institution in Dashia. The people here are very busy every day. Even the most ordinary clerk assistant has a very fulfilling daily job. Lu Yuan is one of them. One of the tasks is to handle the file information of the Chinese Academy of Sciences email. Those who have worked in this position know that it is a difficult job. As an official email, it's not surprising to receive any emails. Lu Yuan has been in this position for several years. He was browsing his email as usual. In the email of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, there are nearly a thousand emails every day announcing the development of our own perpetual motion machine. There are also some ideas claiming to overturn the law of conservation of energy. Most of these people lack professional knowledge and simply create a circular machine, thinking that they have developed a perpetual motion machine. At first, Lu Yuan would still treat it as a pleasure to watch. But later on, after watching too much, I felt bored. He drooped his eyes and flipped them in a somewhat bored manner. The conjecture and theory of superluminal speed. Overthrow Newton's laws. Dot. He didn't even bother to glance at these seemingly nonsensical headlines. On weekdays, Lu Yuan has already seen enough. These things have no meaning at all. Soon, an email caught his attention. About the design principles and preliminary design of the sixth generation aviation power engine. Lu Yuan's eyes narrowed slightly. 
Just the title alone can tell the difference between this email and those spam emails. With curiosity in his heart, he clicked on this email. In the email, it's not just ordinary videos or simple text. What catches the eye is an incredibly detailed catalog. The main types of aviation power engines. The evolution and use of new engine technologies. The feasibility and principles of new energy sources. Dot. Below the email, there is also an attachment of approximately 400 megabytes. As an assistant clerk at the Chinese Academy of Sciences, Liu Yuan immediately recognized the professionalism of this email. He couldn't resist and downloaded the attachment. Open document file. Liu Yuan actually didn't have much hope for studying this document. After all, the Chinese Academy of Sciences has also received a lot of such professional research materials. Those who truly rely on technology are basically rare. Soon, he furrowed his eyebrows slightly. At the beginning, Liu Yuan was still able to roughly understand. But then, the content in the document began to tend towards absurdity. He is responsible for checking these emails, but he only has some basic knowledge. And his own profession has certain limitations in his understanding of these research materials and data. He was slightly surprised in his heart. The content of these materials has exceeded his cognitive scope. From a preliminary judgment, he cannot see any problems with the content of this research material and the data analyzed. Continuing to look back, even Liu Yuan couldn't confirm the authenticity of this research material. He was shocked that this was no longer the research data he could judge. Liu Yuan took a deep breath and his gaze fell on the nearby landline phone. It must be reported to the relevant department leaders for judgment. He dialed the familiar number and waited for a moment before the call was answered. Brother Wang, take a look at this email. Dashia Chinese Academy of Sciences, in the office of the Research Institute. At this moment, a small meeting is being held. The sudden phone call made the entire conference room quiet. This made Wang Guqiang's face a bit unhappy, and he looked at the phone notes with a frown. Surprisingly, it was the clerk's assistant Xiao Lu who called. On weekdays, Lu Yuan will help with handling materials and some documents. He is quite familiar with this assistant. Although his name is Xiao Lu, Lu Yuan is not young anymore. In his thirties, he has always been very steady in his work. Wang Guoqiang had previously instructed that he was in a meeting and not to disturb him casually. Acting recklessly doesn't seem like something he would do at all. Is there something important? After careful consideration, he decided to answer the phone. Wang Guoqiang walked out of the conference room with apologies. Hello. What's wrong? Didn't I say I was in a meeting? Lu Yuan's voice came from the phone. Brother Wang, please take a look at this email. He frowned slightly and asked. What's wrong with this email? Lu Yuan's voice carried a hint of hesitation. The research data in this email may involve a gap in the field of Dashia technology. Even this technology may be a precedent in the world technology field. Wang Guqiang's face changed slightly and soon showed an expression of importance. He knows his assistant well and won't speak recklessly. Wait for me, I'll be right over. After realizing the importance of everything, Wang Guqiang simply stopped and hurriedly walked towards the clerk's office. In just a moment, he pushed open the door to the clerk's office. Where is the file? Let me take a look. Wang Guqiang, although not an expert academician. At least I also worked as an acting professor and was born in science. In academia, many literature has also been published. Seeing the person in charge coming over, Lu Yuan quickly clicked on the email. Brother Wang, look. At the same time as the colleague who opened the email, he also made way for the location. Wang Guqiang's gaze fell on the email, and soon his expression changed slightly. Just in the table of contents column, he has not heard of many of the terms. Out of reverence for academia, he watched carefully. The expression on his face also showed rich colors. 
Assistant Lu Yuan on the side asked curiously in a low voice. Brother Wang, do you see any problem? Wang Guoqiang shook his head slightly. In the previous section, he did not see any issues. Even the calculation of chemical equations and the results of energy calculations are theoretically completely valid. In the middle part, there were many things that he began to struggle with. Especially regarding the principal part, there are even some fanciful ideas. Seemingly absurd, there is a bit of rationality in careful consideration. In the plain and unremarkable design, there is also a hint of fantasy revealed. Based on this preliminary judgment, this research data is really quite impressive. However, he couldn't figure out whether this thing was true or false. To determine authenticity, it is still necessary to have more professional and relevant experts come and see. At least, if this thing can pass the level with him, there is definitely some merit in it. The most conservative way is to report to the higher ups. Regarding research material emails, according to normal procedures, the dean also needs to personally review them. Wang Guoqiang immediately saved the email and reported it to the dean. Dean Yi, we have received an email. This may include new technologies that the Xia has not yet mastered. If it's true, it will fill the Xia's technical gap in this area. On the other end of the phone, Yi Lao's voice came leisurely. What technology is it? There was also the sound of drinking tea interspersed among them. It seems that the dean is quite leisurely. Wang Guoqiang didn't play any tricks and said directly. Sixth generation aviation power engine. At the next moment, the tea in Dean Ye's mouth spurted out. Puff. What? As the president of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, he clearly knows the difficulty and importance of this technology better than anyone else. Director Yi earnestly inquired. Are you sure? Wang Guoqiang nodded and emphasized. I'm sure. At least, in my opinion, there is no problem with this research material. I can't distinguish the specific content either. I have sent you the email, Dean, please take a look. Hang up the phone. In the Dean's office. At this moment, Director Yi also took out his glasses and looked particularly serious. Although he is not a professional expert in the aviation field. As the Dean, I have some understanding of research in various fields. After clicking on the email, the directory that came into view did not catch the Dean's amazement. A true expert cannot just look at the table of contents. Upon opening the first page of the document, the old Dean showed a hint of contemplation. With just one glance, he could see the merits of the sixth generation aviation power engine. His gaze continued to look towards the rear. In this research material, a large amount of literature has been cited. Most of them can be traced back. And the construction structure and execution sequence structure in the data are also extremely strict. In theory, if the content of this research material is strictly followed, it seems that the techniques in the research material can really be implemented. However, only the basic design ideas and operating principles are included in the materials. Lack of some core technical principles. Even Dean Yi is completely uncertain about some critical issues. After all, he is not a major in aviation or power-related fields either. At this moment, the senior dean has also attached great importance to this research material. Dean Yi calmly picked up the nearby landline. Immediately notify all comrades in the aviation and power fields. Convene an emergency meeting and all relevant personnel must attend without being absent. He paused for a moment and continued speaking. By the way, the content of the meeting is to discuss the feasibility of the sixth-generation aviation power engine. When? Immediately. End of this chapter. Chapter 5. Anyway, for this technology, we must go to. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Anyway, we must have access to this technology. In the building of the Chinese Academy of Sciences in Dashia, several security guards guard the gate with some boredom. 
although this is the top scientific research center in Dashiao. There are not many people who can enter and exit. This can also be considered a relatively easy job. However, today is destined to be different. The cars constantly rushing towards the door, as well as the hurried steps of some old men. This surprised the security guard guarding the door. What day is today? Why so many people? Although curious in their hearts, as security guards, they clearly fulfill their obligations. Before the person could approach, a security guard approached and said. Hello, please present relevant documents. Without a certificate, you cannot enter. The person at the front is an old man, dressed in a neat suit, and his small hair is also shiny. He waved his hand and said. Xiao Lu, help me take out my documents. Behind the old man, a young assistant immediately flipped over his backpack. In no time, I took out my identification documents. Academician of the Department of Energy Science and Power, Chinese Academy of Sciences, Huang Qiming. The security guard's face changed and he immediately moved the door open, quickly, everyone following behind also took out their identification documents. Professor Yu Xiangbei from the Department of Aerospace Equipment, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Academician Zhou Jianhua from the Department of Aerospace Power, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Academician of Power Machinery, Chinese Academy of Sciences. Dot. One by one, the documents were exposed. These old men's identities are becoming more and more exaggerated. The lowest level is a professor in the relevant field. The security guard was stunned. Lying trough. What day is today? So many academicians. On weekdays, I may not meet anyone who is on duty for a month. They are just gatekeepers, and they don't understand these things either. I won't ask what I shouldn't ask. About ten minutes have passed. The conference room in the Chinese Academy of Sciences building is already full of people. All of these people are domestic experts in the fields of aerospace and power. A sudden meeting made all these old gentlemen curious. What is it that even an emergency meeting was held? This is Dashia Chinese Academy of Sciences. The last emergency meeting was a long time ago in history. The people below couldn't help but whisper at this moment. What's going on? What is the purpose of this emergency meeting? Did Dean Yi explain it? I'm not sure. Dot. Amidst the sound of discussion, hurried footsteps came from outside the conference room. Director Yi also appeared in everyone's sight. He glanced at the noisy crowd and nodded. There are not many such meetings, and it is normal to have some curiosity. The people are probably here soon. Director Yi didn't say much, but went straight to the main topic and opened the projection. Amidst the whispers in the conference room, a document appeared on the multimedia screen. At this moment, the originally noisy conference room immediately quieted down. The old gentleman below, the professor's face also showed a hint of seriousness. Among them, there were several elderly gentlemen who took out a pair of presbyopia glasses with an extremely focused expression. Everyone began to watch attentively. However, there are still some slightly older academicians and professors who show some disdain for this information. Those who can obtain the title of academician in Dashia are all giants in these related fields. They carry some arrogance, which is also normal. At this moment, Dean Yi de Yuan slowly spoke up. This is a research report on the sixth generation aviation power engine. Take a careful look, everyone. What's the problem? Dean Yi has read this information and is aware of its significance. Most importantly, let's take a look at the opinions of experts in these related fields. His gaze turned towards the old gentleman below. At the beginning, these few people had a strong expression of contempt and disdain. At this moment, it was difficult to find that expression on their faces anymore. Replaced by solemnity. Under the conference room, the vast majority of people have some changes on their faces to some extent. All of you here are industry leaders and experts in related fields. 
this research material can be recognized by everyone on site. The technical components and impact contained in this can be imagined. The research materials in front of us contain technical components that cannot be simply summarized in words. Being able to write research materials at this level is definitely a master in this field. Everyone thinks this way. Finally, someone couldn't help but feel angry. The speaker was a middle-aged professor, whose voice was trembling and he asked excitedly. Dean, is this research material the result of the research of that expert? As the words fell, many people began to speculate. There are not many technology companies studying this direction in Dashia, China. Which technology company's research data is this? Or is this the research result of which large research team? Dot. In Dashia, companies or research teams studying these fields in China. All of you present in the conference room are more or less acquaintances. Just a simple inquiry can get the answer. However, it is obvious that the communication among the people below did not yield an accurate answer. Even without any clue. An old professor couldn't help but ask. Dean Yi, where exactly did this research material come from? Yi Di Yuan nodded lightly, but turned his gaze to the assistant in the corner of the conference room. Xiao Lu, come on. Everyone's gaze converged, and Lu Yuan also stood up. He is just a small clerk's assistant. When did you attend a conference of this scale? All of you here, starting from the professor. Under the gaze of countless people, Xiao Lu responded in a low voice. Received via email. The words fell and the conference room fell into a dead silence. The crowd on the shore showed an extremely shocked expression. What kind of thing? From the email. How could such a thing be submitted via email? This is too childish. What are you joking about? The experts present imagined countless possibilities. Famous domestic technology companies and research teams have all guessed once. I never expected that this thing would be sent through email. Shouldn't the encryption level be full for this type of content? Under the conference room, there was soon a commotion. A slightly younger Professor Ouyang stood up and spoke. If it is sent through email, we must be careful. Simple mailbox delivery is easy to leave traces on the internet. And there is also a possibility of information leakage from the team transmitting this research material. Dean, I suggest immediately activating the highest level security system of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. And initiate relevant information confidentiality measures. We must protect the identity information of this research team. Everyone nodded. They are all engaged in scientific research related work, and have encountered some safety related incidents to some extent. An old academician said in a deep voice. Based solely on preliminary judgment, this research material is definitely at the national treasure level. The fields involved are also extremely exaggerated. At least with the current technological level of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, there may not be such research achievements in the next 50 years. Globally, the science and technology related to this field are only in the initial testing stage. On the other side, a professor nodded in agreement. At least in terms of aviation power, the technology of the fifth generation power engine has not yet fully matured. This research material is completely a blank technology in the global related field. If we can master this technology, we can even monopolize globally. Dot. Under the conference room, countless experts have given considerable recognition to the technology contained in this document. The humble speeches of these academicians and professors, as well as their affirmation of the research materials. Shocked in everyone's hearts. They had thought in their hearts that this research material would have some merits. Unexpectedly, it has reached a level of leading the world. This is too exaggerated. Through the conference room, there are so many experts in related field speaking. The authenticity of this research data goes without saying. Director Yi also realized the importance of this document. Everyone's emotions also became tense. Someone asked. 
Wait. When did this happen? Everyone's gaze turned towards their assistant. Lu Yuan quickly responded. I only received the email around noon. As the words fell, an old professor with a slightly irritable temper shouted out directly. What? It's been so long. Hurry up and contact him. Anyway, we must have access to this technology. Xiao Lu looked around and spoke weakly. The entire conference room immediately fell silent, with countless expressions of shock on their faces. End of this chapter. Chapter 6, Whether Useful or Not, Give It a Try You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6, Whether Useful or Not, Give It a Try What? A cry of surprise came from the memory room of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Countless people's expressions froze, and their faces showed a look of shock. Three billion. The assistant clerk Xiao Lu's voice also weakened a bit. He looked at the email in front of him, his gaze somewhat complicated. In the just meeting, Lu Yuan still had a slight understanding of the authenticity of this technology. But he doesn't have a clear definition of the value of this technology yet. After all, I am just a clerk's assistant, and I can only understand a rough idea of this professional knowledge. He looked around and repeated. At the end of the email, the other party is asking for 3 billion yuan in cash, Xiao Lu's eyes were a bit uneasy. After all, that's 3 billion. This is not a small amount. There are not many projects in the Chinese Academy of Sciences that can exceed 100 million. Basically, they are all national key projects. In the quiet conference room, Xiao Lu was also quietly observing the expressions and expressions of everyone. Seeing the frozen expressions and shocked expressions of the crowd. His heart sank. Sure enough, this price may still be too expensive. That person is also too greedy. A technology that costs such a high price. Xiao Lu said cautiously. Well, this price. Before he could finish speaking, he was interrupted by a trembling voice from an academician. That's it. The old academician's gaze was bright at this moment, as if there was light. That's right. A price of 3 billion yuan is not much for them at all. Even people feel that this price is too low. So low that it exceeded everyone's expectations. If 300 million people could purchase such a research material, what is the difference between it and picking it up for nothing? You should know that the several academicians present even had plans in their hearts to spend tens or even tens of billions of dollars on the price. I didn't expect it to be so little. Such advanced technical data, let alone 3 billion. Even if it's 30 billion yuan, you can't buy it. If we start from scratch and develop until the technology is fully mature, the required investment may exceed hundreds of billions. The aviation power engine itself is a high-cost research project. This great bargain has left several academicians of the Chinese Academy of Sciences at a loss. Everyone looked at each other, and several professors had a ghostly expression on their faces. The world is so vast, it's full of wonders. At this moment, several academicians on site had doubts on their faces. 300 million, isn't it too little? Why is this technology selling so much? Is there any problem here? Yeah, this price is too cheap. There won't be anything suspicious inside, will there? What exactly is the origin of this technology? Dot. At this point, some people have already begun to have some doubts in their hearts. I also began to speculate about the source of this technology. Contact through email. Is the price still so low? Isn't this really a scammer? Prior to this, Professor Ouyang stood up again to discuss the proposal for cybersecurity. There is no doubt that the research data is true. However, the source of the research data is indeed questionable. Professor Ouyang, Ouyang Chang has a certain reputation in the fields of network communication and intelligence. He helped himself with his eyes and said in a deep voice. At such a low price, 
I have reason to suspect that this research material may have come from an incorrect source. It cannot be ruled out that a hacker group obtained it through special means from other countries. As soon as the words fell, academician Zhou Jenhua from the Aerospace Power Department retorted. This can be directly ruled out. There are significant language and cultural differences in each country. Besides, there are many new terms in the research materials. If it's translation, grammar and some special nouns cannot be translated at all. Even English can only be used as a substitute. And this research material is mostly about Han Chinese, and the word order structure of the language fully conforms to the language habits of Dixiao. It is not difficult to infer that this is definitely a research achievement of the domestic team. After hearing the academician's words, everyone also nodded. Even experts in this field can translate research materials into Chinese. They also have obvious obstacles when reading. Cultural surprises are not easily resolved. Dean Yi de Yuan also spoke in a deep voice at this moment. In this research material, some professional vocabulary may not be easily understood by some experienced researchers. Even experts in this field want to carry out such a large scale translation project. That's definitely not an easy thing. At least it can be ruled out that the research data may have come from an incorrect source. He paused and added. Although in terms of price, it is indeed somewhat unbelievable. However, in the face of such technology, I think it's still worth a try. At least we can negotiate first and see. The meeting room was briefly quiet for a moment, and everyone nodded and began to express their opinions. I agree with the dean's proposal. Indeed, in the face of such technology, we have to give it a try no matter what. Dot. For the dean's proposal, most people also expressed agreement. Looking down, the old dean nodded in satisfaction. Finally, his gaze turned towards the assistant. Lu Yuan was taken aback for a moment, and then he quickly said. I also agree with the dean's proposal. After speaking these words, he also made a proper sitting posture. Dean Yi couldn't help but curse when he saw that the assistant hadn't responded yet. I agree that you won't contact me yet. Isn't it just three billion? Hurry up and go. Xiao Lu's face showed a look of grievance. Dean, he didn't leave any contact information. In the conference room, there was a sudden silence. What is this situation again? The asking price is 3 billion yuan, but I don't even have contact information. This type of email, if not a private account. So there is very little available information revealed. It is highly likely to be a temporary email account created using the network, or even a one-dot-time email account with a virtual address. If that's really the case, it would be extremely difficult for them to contact each other. Although the Chinese Academy of Sciences does not lack talents in the field of networking, there are even countless ways to investigate some traces. But all of this will take some time. Director Yi couldn't help but get angry. Don't you know how to reply directly to your email? Whether it's useful or not, give it a try. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Stupid professor, did you get the core materials? You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 7 Stupid professor, did you get the core materials? Nanjiang, Sunshine Community Most of the houses here have yellowish walls. As a decades-old community, the rent will be relatively cheaper. At this moment, Su Chuan is tidying up his room. For the sake of focused research, it is obvious that he cannot live in school. Moreover, the space in the dormitory is relatively too narrow. Su Chuan naturally moved out. Completing such a technology alone requires a lot of materials and books. Just these things may not fit in the dormitory. Some of them were even borrowed from the school library. He still has to find and prepare to return books of this kind. In the room, thick piles of manuscript paper were also neatly organized. Most of these are his design manuscripts. Now, Su Chuan has actually roughly sorted it out. 
Next, he needs to prepare for the next task. He took a breath and stood by the balcony, stretching lazily. Gollum. Su Chuan's stomach started ringing. I cleaned up all afternoon but didn't eat anything. Glancing at the kitchen, I almost finished the instant noodles. He doesn't have a strong desire for food and drink. He, who is dedicated to scientific research, only eats to maintain his body's functions. Suchuan didn't hesitate and ordered takeout. After finishing the meal, I waited for a moment and then rested with a slightly tired body. Lying in bed was fine, and Su Chuan also casually played with his phone. Look at the email you sent and see if there is any news. Su Chuan is still very confident in his research data. However, in the short term, he did not have any expectations. After all, that's the official email of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It's not surprising to receive tens of thousands of emails every day. According to the description on the official website, it will take at least three to four days to receive a response. Immediately after, Su Chuan's eyes showed a hint of surprise. Did the Chinese Academy of Sciences actually receive a response? So fast. And he also agreed to his request. 300 million, without any bargaining at all. The national institutions are indeed different, and making a move is just imposing. Su Chuan smiled slightly. He has always maintained faith in the country. He is well aware of the maintenance of the people by the Xia. Since the Chinese Academy of Sciences has agreed readily, Su Chuan is also not impressed. Without hesitation, he sent the prepared core materials directly over. Compared to the general research data, the data files in the core section are obviously larger. Of course, while doing all of this, Su Chuan did not forget to send his bank card over. Even he had no worries at all. Su Chuan is well aware of the value that his technology can bring. 300 million, although it looks a lot. For a country, such a technology is equivalent to picking it up for nothing. At the same time, Su Chuan did not deliberately conceal his information and identity. He glanced at the time and realized that it was almost 11 o'clock in the evening. It was not early, and Su Chuan didn't think too much. He felt incredibly calm and fell asleep. The Chinese Academy of Sciences held an emergency meeting that lasted for over two hours. Everyone present, the youngest of them are middle-aged people, including many old gentlemen. Su Chuan slept soundly, they couldn't sleep at all. They all showed a hint of concern on their faces. What if we can't get this technology? Although they have a research material. There is no record of core technology, which is completely useless. One by one, old men, although a bit tired. But they are also absent-minded. At this moment, I have already started holding a thermos and drinking goji berry water. At this moment, an excited voice rang out from the conference hall. There's news. He replied to us via email. Dot. As the words fell, countless professors and old gentlemen gathered their gaze towards their assistants. The old gentlemen who struggled to walk and moved their bodies in the conference room now had a burst of light in their eyes. One by one, they walked briskly towards their assistant. What situation? How will the other party respond? What did he say? Dot. These old professors looked extremely excited and curious about how the other party would respond. Lu Yuan turned around with joy and looked at the crowd. He agreed. And also sent over the core technical information. Xiao Lu's joyful voice immediately infected everyone present. These old men who usually shout health preservation and go to bed before 9-10 am are getting more and more excited at this moment. Great. Quick, take a look at the core information first. They've been waiting for so long, isn't it just for this core information? Surrounded by old professors, Xiao Lu also felt a bit at a loss. When did he receive such treatment? A group of big shots surrounded me, who is not afraid. He quickly said. That. I have screened the core information. 
don't squeeze, this level of information is usually not copied casually. Even these authoritative academicians and professors can only watch through screen mirroring. The once lively old gentlemen have now regained their gentlemanly demeanor. One by one, they looked at the projection screen with an extremely focused expression. Soon, their faces also showed excitement. Surprisingly, aviation power engines can still be constructed in this way. Sure enough, this part of the core information is the key. Here are also several examples of auxiliary devices that can be utilized. Look here, this power mode is truly unique. I've never heard of it before. Dot. These expert professors were extremely shocked in their hearts. The scientific and technological content contained in the core materials far exceeds their imagination. Some ideas and designs, even some are too advanced. The core information matches exactly with the previously sent information. Without a doubt, this core information is also true. Their hearts were immensely shocked. Even, everyone felt a bit at a loss and couldn't believe it. Is it so easy to send core technology at this level? Is it too hasty? Is this actually true? Among the crowd, only Dean Yi was relatively calm. He quickly said. Since the other party is so sincere. We shouldn't have ink stains either. Xiao Lu, go arrange the payment immediately. During this time period, the bank should have closed long ago. However, because the Chinese Academy of Sciences informed us in advance. A bank has given it a special green light. Xiao Lu hurriedly left. In the conference room, countless people couldn't help but become curious. What kind of team is behind this technology? Below, a professor couldn't help but ask. The other party doesn't seem to have deliberately concealed information. Email and bank card seem to be commonly used accounts. Should we investigate? After all, everyone is also very curious. Which team in China can develop this technology? The professor hesitated when he saw the dean, adding. This is not only for us, but also a way to protect this team. Yi Di Yuan showed a pensive expression, but after a moment, he seemed to compromise. What the professor said is quite reasonable. He also had some concerns that mastering this technology would make personal safety a concern. For safety reasons or other reasons, it is also necessary for them to investigate. At least the country can provide some degree of protection. He waved his hand and said. Check it out. Try to investigate as much as possible without disturbing them. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Sixth Generation Aviation Power Engine. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 8 Sixth Generation Aviation Power Engine. In the conference room of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. At this moment, the security department has started investigating the relevant information based on the provided bank card number and email address. Countless academicians, professors, and others are also extremely curious in their hearts. What is the research team and research company in China with such strength? Develop this level of technology. Curiosity is one thing. Most importantly, as a national institution, the Chinese Academy of Sciences aims to protect such talents or research teams. Soon, the veil hidden in the internet was completely lifted. Su Chuan did not deliberately hide his information. At this moment, all his information has appeared on the screen of the conference room of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. Name Su Chuan Gender Male Age 24 years old degree Undergraduate I am currently studying at Nanjiang University. In the back, there are also the birth registered residents of Su Chuan and relevant resumes. The presentation of these identity information suddenly quieted down in the conference room. In college. Is a degree a bachelor's degree? Are you sure you're not mistaken? The head of the security department not far away also immediately responded. If the email address identity matches the bank card identity, it should be this person. Below, academician Zhou couldn't help but inquire. 
Can you find out which projects or teams this person has participated in at school? Also, who is his mentor at school? The head of the security department nodded. This should be very simple. In school, there are usually corresponding records. I saw him calmly typing on the keyboard, and soon some information appeared on the projection screen. Got it. The information about the mentor is currently cleared. Prior to this, he had been participating in some school-arranged projects. The recent project I participated in was initiated by his supervisor, titled Research on the Impact of Air Resistance on Dynamics. However, according to records from Nanjiang University, it seems that he did not participate in the project throughout. And in school, I have never participated in any team research. On the contrary, the book records he borrowed from the school library are more interesting. The security manager lightly clicks with the mouse. A list of book borrowing forms appears on the projection screen. Basic structure of aviation power engines dynamics application of non-traditional engines new energy utilization and development. Dot. The long table contains almost all books related to the sixth generation aviation power engine. This made countless professors on site feel a bit shocked. Is it really him? How could such an advanced technology not be developed by a professional team? Is it not a domestic technology company or research institute? But it's a person. How could this be possible? Countless experts and professors on site fell silent. They believe that no one should be able to complete this project. Even if everyone present forms a team, it is probably enough. Their gaze converged on age. 24 years old. This is also too young. And the young man in front of me, who is only 24 years old, has achieved it. The degree below the information is equally i.catching. Undergraduate degree. This is simply unbelievable. Su Chuan. The dean above the conference room murmured the name. This person's identity information is transparent and their resume is fully disclosed. According to the information they have investigated, everything points to this person. Personal habits in connecting research and development materials, as well as the order of materials. There are also stylistic traces of research materials. This is clearly a personal research project. They have also investigated Nanjiang University. In the past decade, no one in the school has conducted research projects on aviation power engines. At the same time, a lot of evidence is also revealed in the literature citations of the research materials. Many cited literature materials have been published in the past two years. Most of the sources of the papers come from one person. Su Chuan. In the conference room, everyone couldn't help but sigh in their hearts. What kind of person is this Su Chuan? Surprisingly, with the help of personal experience, I independently developed such top-notch technology in school. The dean's gaze turned toward Su Chuan information. At the age of 24, studying in university should not be a bachelor's degree. At this age, at least I am also a graduate student. He said in a deep voice. Check why his degree is undergraduate. Soon, it was investigated from the information database of Nanjiang University. The head of the security department said calmly. I found out that Su Chuan was still a graduate student at Nanjiang University a week ago. However, about four days ago, Su Chuan seemed to have been fired by his mentor. The reason for dismissal was because he did not participate in his supervisor's project initiation. In the conference room of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, it suddenly fell silent. The atmosphere around was somewhat chilly. Which mentor? Their gaze turned towards the former mentor on Su Chuan's identity information, as if they could spew fire. Professor Zhang Pingua, right. Very good. Some irritable professors cursed out loud. What kind of thing? Why dismiss graduate students for such a trivial matter? Can you still meet this kind of mentor? Dean, I think there may be some issues with Professor Zhang from Nanjiang University. The one who should be fired should be this mentor. 
Dot. Chinese Academy of Sciences, at the entrance. At this moment, several vehicles with red license plates are speeding towards us. The car body is covered in camouflage, but it exudes a certain aura. A middle-aged man in military uniform walks straight towards the building of the Chinese Academy of Sciences. The security guard at the door is also muttering at this moment. What day is it? Why is the military car also here? There are several soldiers by the side of the middle-aged man. A few people were hurriedly walking and communicating at the same time. Chief, why did you suddenly come to the Chinese Academy of Sciences? Young Jianhua paused in his footsteps, glanced at him, and said in a deep voice. The Chinese Academy of Sciences has recently developed a new technology, the sixth-generation aviation power engine. This technology, if used on military fighter jets. It's not impossible for the Xia's fighter jets to lead the world. The soldiers who followed on the side were shocked in their hearts. Such a great deal. No wonder the leader came so hastily. Sleeping trough, if this technology can pass through the military district. That's unimaginable. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Three Billions Received You are listening at NovelFull.audio This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. In Chapter 10, we suspect that that person has been physically threatened. You are listening at NovelFull.audio In Chapter 10, we suspect that that person has been physically threatened. The Xia Chinese Academy of Sciences, since that emergency meeting. The number of people going here is obviously increasing. The sixth-generation aviation power engine technology not only has enormous economic potential. In the military, it also has its place of use. Therefore, in the past two days, both inside and outside the Chinese Academy of Sciences, some military personnel can often be seen walking around. At this moment, in the building of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, a middle-aged man in military uniform is constantly chatting with an old gentleman. Can't we reveal how you acquired the technology in your hands? Yang Jianhua took a breath and continued to inquire. Anyway, we are all serving the people. Tell me, there shouldn't be any problem, right? Yi Diyuan smiled bitterly and shook his head. Chief Yang, this thing is not something I won't say. Mainly because I'm afraid you won't believe me. You probably heard that this technical information was not obtained through conventional means, right? Yang Jianhua raised his eyebrows slightly and asked curiously. Oh. What's the way to get it? Yi Diyuan is not afraid of being laughed at and says it directly. Email submission. The simple and unadorned answer left the military leader momentarily speechless and stunned. Email. Yang Jianhua's mouth twitched slightly. It is indeed not a conventional approach. Yi nodded and continued. Most importantly, we have not met with the technology provider. All technical transactions are communicated through email. After the transaction was completed, no contract was signed. After listening to these, Yang Jianhua's face showed an incredulous expression. What? He widened his eyes and his face was filled with shock. He had no idea how such a transaction would proceed. Most importantly, the transaction was actually completed. By email. No contract signed. Yang Jianhua rubbed his head and couldn't help but ask. Have you investigated the information about that person? Yi nodded in response. This investigation went smoothly. The other party did not deliberately hide their IP address or identity information. We also initiated the relevant confidentiality procedures as soon as possible. At present, this person's file has been hidden and encrypted. I'm notifying you to come over mainly to ensure the personal safety of this person. Yang Jianhua raised his eyebrows slightly and asked. What is the situation? Yi Diyuan said in a deep voice. You should have also inquired about the specific nature of this technology. 
the value contained in it is at least tens of billions or more, even immeasurable. Such advanced technology, sold to us for only 3 billion yuan. Through our meeting speculation, it is not ruled out that that person may have encountered some personal threats or other unexpected situations. Upon hearing Yi Lao's analysis, Yang Zhenhua also nodded slightly. Indeed, there is some truth to it. After Yi finished speaking, he took out a pre-prepared file bag from the side. On the file bag, a few red words stand out. Absolutely confidential. He handed over the file bag and said. This is the person's identity information. Yang Zhenhua nodded. Understood, our military will handle this matter properly. Nanjiang, Street. At this moment, a young man walked out of an old community with steps and was walking towards the direction of the school. Well, good. Su Chuan held a mobile phone in one hand and a bag of garbage in the other. It can be seen that he is currently on the phone. I understand. While speaking, he casually threw the garbage bag into the nearby trash can. Dad, you don't have to worry about the money issue. I have already solved it. On the phone, it's Su's father. This phone call was made by Su Chuan. As soon as the money arrived, he was ready to call home. Because Su Chuan is very clear. My mother doesn't have much time left now. If kidney transplantation is necessary, the earlier the better. Moreover, after kidney transplantation, the body may still experience certain rejection phenomena. These all require certain medications and time to maintain. On the other end of the phone, Sue's father's voice was filled with disbelief. Ah. What? Have you solved the money problem? Sue's father's voice then became somewhat stern. Su Chuan, I'll tell you. That's right, our family is poor. Your mother's situation is also very urgent. But you can't do anything illegal either. Tell me honestly, where did this money come from? Su Chuan calmly explained. Dad, don't worry anymore. I have achieved results in my supervisor's research project. It is said that this technology has sold for hundreds of millions. My money is a bonus given by my mentor. Su's father's education level is not high, and he was quickly fooled by Su Chuan. He nodded, breathed a sigh of relief, and felt at ease. Well, that's good. In the Sunshine community, several dilapidated vans quietly parked on the roadside. A few passers-by passed by and didn't find it strange at first glance. Wuling Hongguang, normal. Inside the van, it was a completely different scene. These cars are not transparent. In addition to the driver and co-pilot inside the car. The back two rows of seats are arranged face to face against the car window. This is obviously a military vehicle, specially modified to look like a Wuling Hongguang. There are about eight people sitting in the car, each of whom is a special forces soldier. In the car, an officer looked at the crowd below and said in a low voice. According to intelligence, there may be some security risks both inside and outside the community. And some illegal elements. Also, if anyone discovers this person. We must ensure the safety of this person, while speaking, the officer took out a photo. In the photo, Su Chuan's appearance is striking. All of us are taking undercover action, preliminary investigation of threats. The main army will conduct a blockade investigation on the community in the future. Everyone nodded. Understood. The officer nodded. Everyone stay in communication, take action. The sound fell and the bread door opened. The plainclothes team gradually walked out of the car and mixed inside and outside the community. For this community, start conducting a survey. End of this chapter.